So how can you get CPT? Let's walk through the steps together. The first step is to talk to your academic advisor to discuss internship options in your degree program. You'll need to find out if your department will allow you to enroll in an internship course to get credit for your practicum. After you speak with your academic advisor, it's time to find an internship. For help finding an internship, you may want to contact your academic advisor, departmental internship coordinator, or UT Arlington's Career Center. Whenever you receive an internship offer, it's time to apply for CPT. There are three things you should submit to OIE to be approved for CPT. A recommendation from your academic advisor, the CPT student form, and a copy of your offer letter. The first form is the CPT Academic Advisor Recommendation Form. This form is for your academic advisor to complete. We will use this to determine which course you're taking to get credit for the internship, whether you're applying for part-time or full-time CPT, and to verify that your academic department recommends the internship you have accepted. Your advisor should use the space provided to explain how the internship is related to your degree program, including any requirements for completion of the internship course. For example, written reports, weekly conferences, oral presentations, or employer's reports. Don't forget to register for the internship course before you turn your application into OIE. The second form is the student information form. This form is to remind you of important information about your CPT. Just fill out the top section with your information, then read and initial each item. Finally, sign and date the form. The third and final item you'll need to submit with your CPT application is your internship offer letter. OIE has a helpful information sheet for your internship provider that explains your CPT requirements and helps them to write an acceptable offer letter. Your internship offer should be on company letterhead and include your job title referenced as an internship, practicum, or co-op, your position duties, the start and end dates of your internship, and the number of hours you're expected to work each week. That completes your application. When you submit your application to OIE, an advisor will determine your eligibility and issue you a brand new I-20 authorizing the employment for the specified dates and employer. This process could take up to a few weeks. When you receive your new I-20, you may begin working on the start date listed on page two. If you do not have a social security number yet, you can apply for one at the nearest social security office using your CPT I-20. Up next, find out when to apply for CPT.